Olá pessoal, aqui mais uma vez o professor Fabiano Ferreira do Instituto Omegalef e nós temos a satisfação de ter conosco a nossa professora de inglês, professora Jessica e ela vai resolver para nós a prova do Instituto Militar de Engenharia 2009-2010 e então você vai acompanhar esse vídeo e certamente vai aprender muito acerca dessas questões que nós vamos dar início da 16 a 20. Jessica, how are you? I'm good. good. Hello, everybody. So today we're going to look at questions 16 to 20 from the 2009-2010 test. And the instructions say that we're going to mark the alternative that makes the phrase grammatically incorrect. So we want to find out what's wrong, what's making it not correct. Okay, let's take a look at number 16. Crafting clever toys, making beautiful music, lighting up the South Pacific, the 10 technologists in our special report has engineered exciting careers that melt their passions with their professions. Okay, if we go along, let's start, let's take a look at number A, letter A. Crafting clever toys, making beautiful music, lighting up the South Pacific. Everything corresponds here, looks perfect. Let's move on to letter B. The 10 technologists in our special report has engineered. Okay, let's stop right here, because in letter B is where we have our error. Instead of has, it should be have, because has is in the singular form, talking about one person, but we can see here that we're talking about 10 people, the 10 technologists in our special report. So 10 people will have something in the plural form. So once again, letter B is where we have the error, and our correct answer is have instead of has. Let's move on to number 17. Did you know that your car probably has more software running in it than the latest military fighter jets? Or that it has 50 or more embedded microprocessors that control everything from meeting governmental emission control standards for automatically increasing the volume of your radio as you drive faster? Okay, if we look at this sentence again, we can see, let's start at number A. Or that it has 50 or more embedded microprocessors, everything looks good there, that control everything from meeting governmental emission control standards for automatically increasing. Okay, we see that letter B is correct, but if we look down to letter C, we see that letter C does not correspond with letter B. Because if you're going from, you have to go to. If the preposition correctly goes from to. If you're coming from Brazil to the United States, you don't go from for. Okay, they just don't correspond. So once again, letter C is the incorrect one, and instead of for, it should be to. Let's look at number 18. People pursue technology for a living because they are passionate about making things, making things better, and making a difference in the world. Today's engineers need the knowledge to tackle classics, engineering problems, but also the sensitivity to understand the social impact of technology on people and the environment. Let's start at letter A once again. People pursue technology for a living. Sounds fine there. Let's go on to B. Because they are passionate about making things, making things better, and making a difference in the world. Everything corresponds there. Let's go to letter C. Today's engineers need the knowledge to tackle classics. Okay, stop right there. We see that C is where our error is because uh, classics is an adjective. It's invariable and it should never be in the plural form. So classics should be classic. So we see that classic engineering problems should be the correct phrase instead of classics. So our error, once again, is letter C, and it should be classic and not class 6. Let's look at number 19. Although technology has benefited agriculture in a number of ways, there are some things that growers still do the old-fashioned way. Among them is putting their hands and other measuring devices in the dirt and judging, based on how moist the soil is, whether the crops need water and how much should be added. Let's start from the beginning here. Although technology has benefit agriculture. Okay, first of all, letter A, right in the beginning is where we find our error. Instead of benefit, it should be benefited because we're talking about an action. Technology has benefited. The form has plus the word should be benefited. 
agriculture instead of has benefit because this is wrong grammar. So our error is in letter A. Instead of benefit, it should be benefited. Let's go on to number 20. Almost invariably, a new baby's photo album begins with a grainy black and white picture taken months before birth, a prenatal ultrasound image, which is often detailed enough to inspire comments about the child's resemblance to very members of the family. Start again, letter A. Almost invariably, everything is correct there. A new baby's photo album begins with a grainy black and white picture taken months before birth, looks fine. A prenatal ultrasound image, which is often enough to inspire, good. Comments about the child's resemblance to, very good, very members of the family. Now we see letter E is where we have our ever here, because very is an adverb and it cannot be used to modify a noun. Now many, which is modifying the members. And many is talking about the quantity, how many members. Many members is a lot of people in the family. So we see that very cannot be used to modify this noun. So instead of very, it should be many. So once again, our error is in letter E. And instead of very, we should have the word many. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's it for today. Okay. Next video. Next video we're going to do from questions 21 to 40, which okay. is a different set. Okay, um abraço. E aqui se despedem, professor Fabiano Ferreira e Jessica Marques.